We're back at it, everybody. So on this episode, um, you got his last episode, I built those little cubby boxes, put the phone in. I realized when the phone's in there, I can't get to the volume control. I usually drive this thing with the Apple AirPods in. Um, it's just a nice, clean sound. I don't have to deal with the radio or anything, and I can control the volume pretty quickly with the phone. But the box, I can't reach around the back of the phone without pulling the phone out. Kind of a pain in the butt. So I bought some of these magnet phone holders. You put a piece of metal behind your phone, and then they stick to this. Um, so here's what I'm thinking about doing. I'll show you. So I'm thinking, well, actually, you know what? Before we go on, let me show you where I'm planning on putting the phone. So hold on a second. Okay, so I'm in the car. Um, as you can see, I don't really want to put, you know, they got things that hang on to here. I don't want to do that. I thought about sticking one of those pucks on this, like put the phone right here would be ideal, as you guys can see. Um, but I don't want the puck sitting on top of my vinyl. I just, ah, I just really try not to do that. So I temporarily got one stuck here on the side of the door, which holds the phone quite nice. I think it will, yeah, I think that'll hold up when you're driving. Um, you know, so that's a possibility. But what I'm also thinking, right here would actually be ideal. Oh, so, sorry about that. Right here would be ideal, um, but it moves around real easy. So I'm thinking of, which there's foam in here, I'm thinking if I stick one of those magnets underneath here with some super glue uh, up underneath this piece of aluminum and that, I get just enough grip where then it will stay put because it's, you know, just, just something to just kind of hold it. Or I could go back up here and put one of the pucks into there. Oh, as I said, that would be the best spot for it. Or just, again, leave it over into here. So I just don't know. What I've done is you can pull this cover off of these magnets. I always love taking crap apart. And then you can put the magnet. So this is the foam I'm using and the vinyl. Basically same aluminum too. I can put it up under here and you know, I can throw the phone up underneath here and I can definitely, it, it, you know, you see it definitely grips it. Whereas if I pull the phone, the magnet away, it, it starts sliding around. How much it grips it? I don't know. Is it enough? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just stick this up underneath the car. Um, you know, and see what happens. Or I just stick it on the other side of the vinyl and be done or leave it on the door. I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I've got my first test panel here. This is Ford Viking Blue. Uh, this was the actually original colors that the uh, cars were painted. And I probably could take this outside to give you a better idea of what it is. This was Viking Blue. This is what the car, the very first Daytona Coupe was painted this color before they went to the Guardsman Blue. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking maybe a uh, Arcadian blue, which is super, super light, almost a sky blue with no metallic. I don't like shooting metallic um, just because when you're doing it in your garage, your driveway, you know, it's hard to really see if the metallic flows out right. And you can even see it's a little metallic blotchy here and here. Most guys would never notice it, but I do because, you know, I kind of paint cars as a hobby. So I do notice this stuff. And that's why I'm trying to stay away from metallic. And I kind of limit myself to a lot of paints, but um, I just want to pick something that's easy. I don't want to go dark color again. So I'm actually thinking of maybe doing that uh, Arcadian blue, which is very much like a golf livery, but even lighter uh, with maybe some red stripes or white stripes with red pinstripes on the outside. And then maybe a couple of the the rookie stripes up over like this leaning that way but i don't know as i said it would be very easy paint job light colors nothing tough uh, body work doesn't got to be spot on um so i don't know as i said color to paint for this thing is the hardest thing i've got going so i'm playing around with this a little more i want to discover if i move the, the piece of metal um hope you guys got this this was actually this is the metal that sticks to the magnet which is here by the way so this piece of plastic on the back of the phone definitely deadens the, I mean, now it is like, it's strong. I mean, that really sticks it on there well. Whereas I put it on the other side of the case, not so well. I can live with that, you barely even notice it. So if I take it out of the plastic cover, and now if I stick it onto here and put the phone, I mean, it sticks pretty darn good. I mean, look, it holds the magnet up now. The phone... I mean, it takes quite a bit of force to start moving this thing around. That's through the foam, the vinyl, magnet falls off. So it's obviously, it's doing its job. 
So I think I'm going to put this on the center console next to the uh, the shifter. The phone will sit right there. Magnet will go up underneath. A little drop of probably super glue on each one of these. Stick it here up underneath, and then the phone done. Never see it. Never know it's there. So I'm going to get this thing jacked up, and we are going to throw. We're going to throw this phone holder mount up underneath and uh, give it a shot. Worst case scenario, I got a magnet hanging from underneath the car. Big whoop, right? But I think this is going to work, and this will be... Has anybody thought of this one before? Huh? Yeah, this just popped into my head the other day, and I was like, ooh, this could really work well. So uh, this is top secret. I should patent this. So I don't know if anybody's ever done this. They usually just stick the puck in the car, and then you have this ugly-looking puck. That's not what I want, so... Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go uh, jack this thing up and uh, climb underneath. Thanks. I have now come up, what an invention. Uh, this is awesome. So let me show you what I've done. So I found the magnet underneath the tunnel. Now the phone, it, it's basically stuck. I mean, it's not super strong, but it's enough to where, you know, it's so level. If I drive, so maybe if I dump the clutch, it's gonna drive it back. Once it gets into here, it's really, you feel how loose it, hope you guys can see this. It slides really easy. Once it's into this position here, you can feel the magnet. It's holding it. Uh, so, and then I just pick the phone up. We're good to go. There's no marks, no nothing attached. Uh, I even got the phone. The magnet's like right into here somewhere. So it picks up right onto the back of the phone. But uh, I would have liked to have it more square, but I couldn't really get over here because of the tube. So the magnet's kind of stuck right into here. So, which is fine because that's actually faced at me. So it's probably a better idea. Um, so now I can peel this one off the door. As you can see, I stuck up onto here. Uh, actually, you know what? I might leave that up there for right now. Uh, just in case. Uh, we'll see. This way this thing doesn't work, then I can, uh, you know, just not use it. I'll just leave the magnet there. But I think it will. I think right there, I mean, I can feel it. It sucks it down, so I think that'll keep it uh, from moving around. Because before, if I put it here and you give it any gas, whoop, it's gone. It goes underneath behind the seat. Pain in the ass. So, as I said, I think that's perfect. Still can shift. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to throw this episode up uh, just because I'm uh, proud of myself. I think it's a great idea, and it's clean. It's custom. Uh, this is the kind of little things here, and hopefully Dave Kendig over at uh, Bitchin' Rides doesn't take this and run. So, uh, you know, because this I should patent this idea. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Uh, yeah, another quick episode, and uh, I'll get this up here hopefully later tonight. Thanks. Oh, and hit subscribe, by the way. Always hit subscribe. I'm trying to build up my subscribers. Uh, you know, more Daytona Coupe fans out there. Most uh, Cobra and Factory 5 guys. Love them. Uh, great family. So keep them rolling. Thanks again.